Uh, we have seen with conquest the natives are restricted to the reserves like us do you have any concerns of projections for hindus in 2017 when abrahamic religions overgrow native hindus if i rephrase the question of my understanding you are saying what does the con concern that i have for hindus when abrahamic religions is going to take over in 2070 is that correct um suji ji sujit are you are you there that's my understanding um anku ji no i guess so, yeah i guess so right. so if that's the question my question is why would you let them take over india in uh, another 50 years that's coming whether you want it or not whether they explicitly say it or not actually they are ex explicit right now it was probably not explicit before as i said it is the idea of expansion it did uh, islamic expansion didn't start today it's 624 the ghazwa the the attacks of uh, on jews started later on persia then uh, sindh uh, afghanistan then sindh and you know, of course the uh, indian land the two state theory which caused pakistan uh, as a islamic state today you have within india you have pockets of islamic communities in delhi madhya pradesh west bengal kerala kashmir the Kash kashmiri hindus were um, chucked off killed raped uh, dis and displayed private parts were displayed to create uh, uh, after rape body was sewed and then private parts were displayed to create fear in the community so hindus ran away they did they are still living in tents in various parts of india my question to you sujit ji if that's what you meant why would you let them take it over it is your land isn't it it is your ancestor land isn't it most of the hindus converted are uh, or most of the converted islamists in india are hindus their ancestors were hindus even um, mr um, jinna his ancestors were uh, hindus too right so the question is very simple at this point it's explicit we know it's happening why giving the chance uh punima ji punima ji in extension of that question we have a technical problem in 50 years time if you see the expansion of the population muslim population democracy is actually a game of population right so eventually we are going to have muslim prime minister at one point of time where we will be very weak if the population you know grows this way and muslim population votes as a block so they are going to technically overtake us so what would be a solution to that let me ask you this question pakistan is a islamic state can you tell me one hindu prime minister of pakistan give me one name sorry there isn't any such person very nice but, but eventually as of now democracy is only a wheel under which they are working as soon as there is a population where a majority of the vote bank is with uh, you know muslim affiliated leaders as soon as they are more than 50 or 60 or whatever then will probably not even have a democracy they'll overthrow the government mm -hmm. they are working on it right now why do you think uh, we have to wait for 50% or 30% yes, 15% yes. they are working right now right yes. the idea is darul islam the gazwa hind Correct. is attack on indian soil soil which is what make sure afghanistan has 0% hindus 0% buddhists 0% six right now it's 99.999% islamic country the goal of their their goal is very explicit there is if there is no ifs and buts about it they are not playing with you they are not playing any bhai games with you they are not telling me i am democracy lover either 
They are democracy lover in India. They are democracy lover in America. They are democracy lover in France and UK. But as soon as this country, as you rightfully said, the population grows, of course, democracy dies. Yes. So my question is: We already know that. We history speaks, and it's going to repeat. Why do you want it then? In that case, I don't want the democracy where Hindus are not respected. It's as simple as it is. I came to a Christian country, and I respect them. Every Sunday, some Christian lady. and her gang will come in in front of my door and try to give me a christian pamphlet i had many many instances where i would bring them i would ask them questions why are you who is jesus and etc and i would converse with them try to understand them their goal is to convert me people like me everybody who's not a christian they want a christian they want them to believe in jesus and believe in the bible i don't have any issues with jesus i have issues with the concept of the christianity that was implemented by the churches to make sure the entire world become christians that was my issue that is my issue i have no issues with islam either but i have issues with the ideology they want the entire world according to their belief system meaning my freedom doesn't matter to them that's an issue so you are playing a game of democracy and secularism as i showed you before 2008 nepal was a hindu country hindu rashtra by law secularization secularization happened right after communists took over in secularization of indian constitution happened in 1976 if they can change constitution why can't you change constitution now our constitution written 30 uh, 1948 let's say 1976 words were amended at uh, and um, new words were added and then what what's stopping you to change the constitution right correct we already know we are in danger there's nothing implicit about it it's as explicit as possible so work on the solution right now there is no time as i said act quickly and be an apologist because we have given we have made a muslim president we have made millions of muslim doctors engineers head of state head of um, even governor of kerala is muslim bjp leaders are also muslim we have no problem with anybody and i want you to stay like that there is no culture in the entire world who is as liberal as accepting as democratic as secular as hindus to bring back our own ethos you don't need a constitution for that our ethos our heritage is what humanity needs but establish this humanity in india unapologetically because if you want to ride with the west get their approval you are not going to get it because as i told you i believe it was yesterday you uscirf declared india as a cpc what do you want to do thank you you welcome uh, i think uh, somebody wants to ask something uh, maybe we can sk uh, maybe we can take it up later on uh, because we have a couple of more questions and we are running out of time now uh the next question is from jeet sanyal he says can we form a definite plan of action to counter contra narrative and build hindu consciousness towards proclaiming hindu land very good question see the idea is hindu land lot of people are opposing and you will see a lot of hindus are opposing you will say oh geeta is not hindu um yoga is not hindu Hindu is not a religion 
we don't want a hindu rashtra what would happen if somebody is not a hindu over here we have a lot of friends and family who are christian and a muslim do we want to uh, chuck them off no the idea is to instill respect dignity for the hindus they must understand it is hindu land they must respect it and hindus must have a dignified life who are the external forces and foreign powers to tell you what you must do that's a simple question you want to ask simple thing so to answer your question can we form groups there's so many like your university uh doing such a good job there's rajiv malhotra there's pushpendra kulkshetra gd bakshi mari fazakia um the jaipur dialogue so many channels are doing talks so many channels are bringing out ideas what needs to be done you know the ground workers like kapil mishra who has been constantly vilified by the um uh, left so you have to if you can't do anything support them who are speaking out as uh, ankur ji uh, said before i'm quite explicit and i'm also saying everything that is honestly there's nothing to um, hide over here i'm not here for position or power but there's no reason for me to avail the game of deceit and lies and play goody goody to bring my culture down in order for power as soon as somebody is in a power they forget why they were there and that needs to stop and you have the power to make sure if somebody is out of uh, out of their line bring them down even if it is a elected official who is stopping you from going into the streets and talking about it in the media you have social media and if not nothing else is there you have social media of course the social media is biased at this point i'm not saying uh, it is not uh, our social media banned president trump over here because they didn't want his view and that's dangerous absolutely dangerous so to me to me uh, we have to make sure that you have some channels i mean you have op india swaraj magazine and etc of course you can't fight against word print and quint and they are 10 times stronger than you remember lord rama's fight were also stronger than him but he defeated he defeated ravana all of our rakshas are were stronger than us mahishasura was also stronger than any devta and maha uh, durga came to destroy her uh, mahishasura uh, mardini right so they are stronger this is the situation they have the media they have the social media they have the big techs they have the corporation they have the money flowing they have everything hindus you will see within the hindu community there's more hindus who are going to pull you down than the other community target them and make sure that you speak with them if they're targeting you today's i'll give you very simple example today's um talk this flyer somebody in twitter written about it and the part, nam, name was partho the hindu name person they're talking rubbish about me or she is the perfect person to talk about hindu rashtra so it was not a uh, other faith person i don't know based on the name whether she is a converted or not but he has a hindu name so you will see 90% of your problems are going to come internally within from within your community you have to stand strong and really be um convinced about your facts and you have to have the conviction if if not you will fall apart they have conviction they understand what their goals are and they work day and night fight for their rights we don't we don't have a hindu community like that our community is not like that so i can't change the community 
but if you would like to certainly um i'm happy to work with you but i know so many people are today working and speaking out to support them support them bring your force friends family have donate to them because it's hard it's hard and its cost is super high to speak truth your life is much easier if you lie these days truth never you. lie thank you thank you purnima ji uh, the next question is from uh, deepan mitra he has asked that what is the activity of american and european hindus for controlling international media and force us and un to take action against the atrocities of hindus in bangladesh pakistan and the world ah uh, thank you deepan ji so much uh, for question for this question it's a great question i have said repeatedly before that india current india's border and land is where the concentration of hindus is if hindus in india are eradicated what is going to stop hindus from eradication in bangladesh or pakistan which is what happening right now so that's not a problem whatever happens in india is going to continue in pakistan and bangladesh you are asking for international media us crf just declared india as a cpc they are not india's friend or nor hindus friend they have their own agenda india uh, the people in india are currently facing severe conversion tactics and lies and deceits hindus are getting attacked media doesn't even talk about it so india must control western media channels right now and also monitor what they are putting i'll tell you an example in china recently bbc was banned all right facebook twitter instagram whatsapp nothing is allowed in uh, in china ask a question why not they are a communist country run by ccp communist party of uh, china why don't they allow free speech why don't they allow conversation why did they chuck off bbc bbc was chucked off from china because bbc published a lie or that's what the state of china said they lied about china in bbc so they banned it china is able to do that what's stopping india who's stopping india india is not able to control new york times washington post bbc reuters you name it google twitter twitter is banning lot of hindu Uh, activists right now, plus Facebook controlling um, information and narratives. So you talking about Bangladeshi Hindus? Remember, most of the Bangladeshi Hindus in nineteen forty seven, forty six, Noakhali um, massacre, and nineteen seventy one came into India, and many went to different countries too at that time. international media is not a friend of hindus these are infiltrated organization we certainly are doing whatever we can from our from our end but politically speaking not a single elected official wants to talk about the real issue we can't just we can't fix it right away and i would only imagine that india takes a strong stand against this kind of bias to report and lies and from bangladesh standpoint india is always with bangladesh supported bangladesh 
Bangladeshi Hindu reports are getting also created and um, US, uh, IRF has the Bangladesh sections as you know and they are also creating some reports, sending it out. Um, not sure if Bangladesh in the, um, in the countries uh, list right now, but regardless, um, Hindus, no matter where they are, not safe. So I want you to understand that from the crux of the discussion. Hindus in India are not safe. And once that's going to be eradicated, everything else is irrelevant. If you choose to stay in Bangladesh, you may have to convert. And same with India. And it's coming. Nima, ma'am, uh, there's, there's one more thing. Since BJP is in power and whoever is in power actually writes the books, are we actually, I don't know if we are doing it, but are we actually, uh, you know, revising the text so that it glorifies our, you know, the Hindu kings and the Hindu kingdoms? And I think even if we do not vilify the uh, Mughals, we should at least reduce the, you know, their percentage of the syllabus to a minimum so that, you know, we, we have... Uh, the major proportion of our heroes should be should coming should be coming from our traditions. See uh, the question uh, is from from a perspective of BJP. I'm not a representative of BJP, so I can't talk about exactly what they're doing. <laughs> not a political um, circle of them either. So my um, my uh, request to the ruling party right now is there is a lot of uh, misgivings or happened in the textbook um, as you rightly said that uh, Hindu history hasn't been taught properly um, major um, history has been hidden and even though it was said it was um, rewarded in a way that it was glorifying the invaders versus uh, diminishing the accomplishments and the acts of Hindus. So whether it's more or less really doesn't matter to me. I just want to make sure people know the truth. Let them make their own decision. If after knowing the decision, they want to convert to Islam, what? We don't have any issues. But uh, not before that. Let's know the truth. That's, that's all I would request the ruling party to do. Okay, I asked you this question because uh, we know that children from a certain segment, uh, uh, you know, mostly Islam, teaches children right from the beginning. And in a way, they are brainwashed in a way. Okay, so education, especially children's education, plays a major role in forming what kind of, uh, you know, view they, uh, you know, world view they uh, get. So this is really important for us in the coming generations. Absolutely. So that is right. See, uh, as I said before, ask anybody from Syria or uh, Persia or uh, Lebanon, let's say, pre-Islamic history. There is nothing. They don't know. They don't remember anything. Everything has been erased and wiped out. So this is coming to India and this has been happening in India. But Hindus are, I would say, quite a tough cookie, even though they have, they don't, uh, they don't, uh, you know, they're not violent, they're very peaceful, uh, once a very, you know, uh, low level kind of life. Tough cookie in a way that look at after 2000 years, India still holds it almost 80% and they retained the 80%, although you are rightfully uh, saying that education is important. But look at that, even if you look at 50 in last 50 years, communists taking over the education system and truly ruining our history, there is a resurgence of Hindus somewhere along the line. So truth, you it's I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, do you know soda? You, you know soda, whether you yeah. drink or not, right? Yeah. When you put them in a uh, glass, do you notice what happens to the soda uh, glass of soda? Yeah, the let fizz vanish. Yeah, the fizz vanishes slowly. That's what. If you uh, let me explain, there are a lot of bubbles. The bubbles are always on the top. The bubbles actually starts coming from a bottom to up. Okay, so uh, what I'm trying to tell you is here, you can <laughs> suppress 
the bubbles the bubbles are always going to come up, come up on the top you can suppress the truth as much as you want it's always going to come up so you one doesn't have to uh, you know take the path of deceit and lies and violence in order to establish the truth it it has not it is it is not our path our hindu path is spiritual path killing somebody is not our uh, measurement of success we don't go to hell and heaven because we killed somebody in the name of xyz we don't do that and we don't recommend it we don't want it but truth cannot be hidden either it always prevails and it always will come out so our way in today's situation yet yeah, things have happened in the past we had five islamic education minister in the first 20 years of indian independence given to marxist in free india which was divided in the name of religion they tried their best to make sure the education system didn't support the hindus at all and they did their good job they followed what their doctrination is let us follow exactly what we are we are spiritual we are more focused on peace and prosperity let's bring that let's bring back our uh, uh, history slowly uh, and surely we'll make it happen today you have netaji subhash chandra bose at least established some name after so many years so one by one it will happen but uh, of course as you said you know the bjp i'm not a representative of bjp i don't work for um, that political party nor i'm a spokesperson for that political party so i don't know exactly what they're doing but i would recommend them to look at the textbook change them as um, um for the history real truth history and make sure all these historian who comes out and uh, lies are uh, 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 debated and addressed all these lies are uh, taken into consideration making sure people know about it and i'm pretty sure it's going to happen but at the end of the day you as a country do not have the time you as a culture you as a uh, overall uh, section who is not organized enough doesn't have the time also so you can't take 20 years to make it happen you can't take 10 years also to make it happen and on unfortunately over uh, mr modi is probably is not going to be there in the seat for 10 years so you have a election coming up and that's what is going to be the goal to so make sure you uh, take the leadership and work with your um, uh, political parties and rulers and etc to establish your societal values right uh, i don't know if we have time but there's so many questions and there's so <laughs> many aspects uh, one more thing is i follow a lot of pages and i uh, follow a lot of people uh, you know who support hinduism and who support please speak loudly i think your voice is not very audible oh. is it audible now yeah it's better thanks yes yeah, so basically i follow a lot of pages and i follow a lot of people and a lot of leaders uh, so there are two uh, you know approaches that i have seen till now one is that uh, you know uh, we uh, stand alone and we'll fight alone as as a group of uh, hindus and another set of uh, people uh, you know the approaches that we must consolidate uh the support from all religions except for islam because that is the major danger uh, to the nation or to the to the fabric of india so uh, what do you suggest um i didn't understand the question nanibhan ji could you please rephrase yeah so basically uh, a lot of hindu leaders they say that we must form a you know a former group consolidating all the support from all other religions including uh, you know uh, christian christianity including uh, you know other religions except islam against islam so you build consensus with all other re- religions against islam because islam being the major danger to the fabric of the nation do you do you uh, support that oh well, i i if i could rephrase your question you're saying that okay uh, form a coalition against islam i'm 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 not sure about that uh 
first of all um you have to understand it as i, I showed you in in one of the slides are three buckets of issues communism islamism and christian missionary they are all working although they are working together you must understand their goal is individual at the end of the day they all each of them want to rule the others okay um so it, they might collaborate now in order to get to that stage right on top of the others but at the end of the day each of them want to be the true ruler of the world that's final hinduism is not there hinduism doesn't want to do that all they want to do is talk about peace and prosperity which is fine with me and let's let's talk about environment hinduism can do it right you talk about um animal rights hinduism can do it because we we don't naturally meat eating didn't even start uh, started until the foreign invasion came into our society many thousand years ago uh, our rishis and all uh, intellectuals uh, figured out that animal killing is not a nature a natural process and gave up all of this so hindu society uh, reformed uh, many 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 thousands of years ago and uh, also made oh, sure sorry. that we made sure that we are in a society which is aligned with the nature so environment hinduism peace hinduism a uh, nature hinduism peace hindus everything is hinduism overall if you look at it the nature of the um teaching is like that so we are not against anybody we don't want time as i said said before we're not against any faith anybody can be there but they must respect the land law of the land and the indigenous faith their idea is to erase all indigenous faith they erased aztec mayans babylonians greek everything is gone hinduism is the final threat for them and i just don't want hinduism to go into the museum so i don't know who said that to you uh i i have not heard about it i can't comment on that all i'm saying is that we have three major threats hinduism must understand that the threats against them and what's the final goal for them they want to convert them in either of these three buckets it's up to you whether you want to do it and the mentality of a hindu is hindus are if you want to convert on your own or out of the we're not going to stop you after knowing the truth and reality if you want to do it so be it but know the truth first and he may i add does it mean that minorities are in danger or minorities will be in danger these are talking points trying to defame uh, hindus may i just just add one one more thing here that there is one other threat which is very insidious and they present themselves to be very peaceful and those are the buddhists and i'll tell you why if you look at some of the uh, the history textbooks the indian civilization opens with a big picture of buddha of how he traveled so buddhism is really what is uh, the original proselytizers i just wanted you to be aware of this uh very interesting um point mona ji i'm not sure about indian textbook opening with um buddha i have not seen it but i'll take your word for it if that's uh something that we can probably look into and understand buddhism is a sect of hinduism and uh, buddha is considered as a ninth avatar of vishnu um, although he rejected the vedas he didn't reject the karma aspect of it or the enlightenment aspect of it a nirvana section of it so uh, their thought process made maybe a bit more atheistic non devotional uh which is fine too it, you know at the end of the day um um shankara acharyas um advaita vedanta is very similar of um, buddhist teaching um so but at the same time uh remember the reason 
um, the Afghanistan lost to Islam is because they 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 did not want to raise sword. Now Burma's um, Buddhist monks are becoming very strong. No, we have to defend our land. We have to defend our faith. So. It depends on the time. It depends on the uh, society also. After 2000 years, they are waking up. Um, so I, I'm not sure exactly which book you are mentioning, but uh, we, we can talk uh, offline on this. Is, yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, we have time for two more questions now. And I think two people have already raised their hands. So let me first go to SK. Uh, is it? Uh, is SK? Maybe you can ask yourself. Uh, yeah. Are you there? Okay, let's go to Umakant Vaishna, who has also raised his hand. Umakant, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Ji, ji. Uh, ji, uh, ji, ji. 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 Ji, पोलाइट कन्वर्जन की तरफ एक स्नेहिल और सार गर्भित धर्मांतरण जो किया जा रहा है लगातार स्नेह संदर्भ और संबंधों के आधार पर इसको दो संदर्भ में आपको पूछना चाहूंगा पहला वो मानसिकता जो हमारी बच्चियों का बलात्कार करती है अभी कोटा में एक 15 साल की हिंदू बच्ची का बलात्कार किया 40 लोगों ने शायद कोई वर्ल्ड मीडिया ने उसको नहीं लिया होगा 1992 में भी एक केस हुआ था जब 200 हाई क्लास एलिट क्लब की बच्चियों का दस हजार लोगों के द्वारा बलात्कार किया गया था अजमेर दरगाह के पास में सोफिया स्कूल में क्रिश्चियंस की वो स्कूल थी अब उस मानसिकता के ही लोग हमारी बेटियों तक कैसे पहुंच जाते हैं और बेटियां भी किन लोगों की जो बहुत ज्यादा इंटेलेक्चुअल है जैसे हम सुब्रमण्यम स्वामी को ले सकते हैं लाल कृष्ण आडवाणी को ले सकते हैं मुरली मनोहर जोशी को भी ले सकते हैं इवन संघ के टॉप क्लास लीडर रामलाल को भी हम उसमें इंक्लूड कर सकते हैं तो किस तरह से हमारी बच्चियों को वो शिक्षा दी जाए कि वो उस ट्रैप में नहीं फंसे जो ट्रैप तैयार किया जा रहा है गजवाए हिंद को लेके या परमेश्वर की खुद की धरती को लेके मैंने पहले भी अपना प्रश्न इंक्लूड किया था कि नागालैंड मिजोरम और मेघालय साइड में जो गोल्डन ट्रायंगल है वहां से जो स्मगलिंग होती है जिसका पैसा लगातार चर्चों को बूस्ट करने के लिए लगाया जा रहा है और वही पैसा इनडायरेक्टली जो क्रिश्चियन डोमिनेंट स्टेट है वहां हमारी बच्चियों को बहलाने के लिए फुसलाने के लिए और जो जिहादिस्ट है उनके द्वारा भी वो पैसा लव जिहाद में काम में लिया जा रहा है तो रूट से हमारे घर से किस प्रकार से हम बच्चियों को उसके लिए तैयार कर सकें कि आने वाले समय में खैर वो चल ही रहा है कि वो उस समय में उन सब चीजों से लड़ सके और समझ के साथ लड़ सके थैंक यू सो मच उमाकांत जी आई थिंक आई एम गोन रिफ्रेज योर क्वेश्चन लेट मी नो Uh, you are asking what to do for Christian missionaries in the Northeast. Okay, I, I will help uh, translate this question. So, uh, what he is basically saying is that uh, girls and women in India uh, face uh, threats from uh, especially the uh, Islamic community and the Christian communities, and they are often, you know. Uh, uh, there are, I mean, many. There are many cases of rape and mass, uh, you know, uh, molestations. So, what he's asking is, uh, firstly, that how can we train our uh, women and especially young girls to be aware of this threat and uh, what to do about it? I think that's the first part of the question. The second question was also that how do we, you know, uh, tackle the threat of uh, Christian missionary? Uh, evangelism in the northeast. So I think there are two different questions here. So yeah. See, I mean, uh, these are uh, a very good question, Umakantji. So so let's target the second one first. Northeast. See, nineteen uh, nineteen forty seven, India got uh, partition happened, but majority mainland um, politics didn't pay attention to the northeast. Uh, so it was neglected, it was uh, abandoned, there was no development. Most of the people don't even know the seven states, names of the seven states, uh, don't even know where they are, who their borders are. Uh, so the issue is Northeast, although people from Northeast very much think they're Indian or part of India, 
but most of the majority mainland people don't consider northeast is even a elevated part as uh, unfortunately northeast is quite um rich in culture history and resources your rhinos are world's most rhinos are over there uh, most uh, rainfall is in northeast cleanest asian city is in uh, northeast um it is beautiful and it's uh, right now the kashmir of india is northeast unfortunately people don't know that northeast is targeted because of that so you hear about all these conversion uh, tactics that happens in the poor villages and it is true because some people uh, for food for uh, livelihood they'll go to church they'll go to mosque it doesn't really matter at the end of the day so india i would say it was obviously political fail failure um, for many many years today now it is some focus has come over there and as you know in tripura first time bjp government came after 25 years of communist rule west bengal is almost going out of hand bjp is furiously campaigning over there right now um and then uh, talk about nagaland mizoram very little um hindus are left um so it the neglect of indian uh, ruling party for decades have caused it can you fix it immediately no but can you try of course you can uh so yes of course you have to um bring the knowledge of the history like a home dynasty of assam what how they have furiously fought the islamic invasion in northeast those kind of information will help now let's talk about your first question what is happening in terms of rapes uh, for hindu girls and etc like that this is a societal issue uh if our society has made rape a taboo if you can't report the issue in police station if the police don't act on it from a law enforcement perspective and um the political party the ruling party doesn't pay attention to those kind of societal issue you can't fix it you need a leader within your community to be placed to work on this kind of issue to bring history to bring um knowledge to the people like that this is happening and we must stop if people don't even know how are they going to stop it first in order to stop you have to know about it right they say sufis are great but we know the sufis are the one where two nation theory came that made sure that we have uh, india pakistan today aurangzeb was a sufi too was a great sufi 